this video we're going to do 15 minutes workout and we'll go from the waist down. Hi, my name is Olya and I am from Pilates Online Academy and I teach 15 plus 5 formula and 100 series to get your body in shape as soon as possible. So we're going to start. I'm going to put a timer for 15 minutes. So let's play, you know, we'll finish. Okay, so lie down on the mat. We're going to stretch very quickly. Just extend your arms and legs. And feel like someone is like pulling you in the opposite directions. Yeah? So you'll feel the stretch in your tummy. Very good. Okay, move your knees in. Uh, feet on the floor. And make sure you know what the T-zone is. If you don't know the T-zone, there's a link below. You need to find out this first. So the T-zone is transfer, uh, um, you need to draw the pelvic muscles up and flatten the line between your hip bones. So when I say this, this is what you do. Okay, so uh, let's start with the uh, pelvic collapse just to warm up. So your feet are in line with your hip bones. You're going to press with the toes as well as your heels. And we're going to inhale in. T-zone, and as you exhale, you're going to flatten your lower back and then squeeze your glutes and roll yourself up vertebra vertebra into the diagonal line. Yeah, so if you have back problems, you should not be rolling up, you should just lift yourself up. Inhale at the top, and as you exhale, you're going to roll yourself down. Okay, tailbone on the floor, back in neutral, let's start again. Exhale, roll up, press through the toes as well as your heels. Inhale at the top. And exhale, roll down. One more time. Inhale in T-zone, exhale, roll up. Inhale at the top. And exhale, roll down. Very good. Okay, we're going to start with the pelvic floor muscles and lower stomach. So we're going to extend the legs. Uh, leg, and rotate the leg from your hip joint out, just like a ballerina. Make sure this knee is stable. We're going to move your leg to the side, back towards the center. Side center. So you don't have to move the foot too close to the floor. You can go higher. Make sure that your back is comfortable. Keep going. And inhale to the side. Exhale towards the center. Inhale to the side. Or you can do it in reverse. Let's try that. Exhale to the side. Inhale towards the center. Good. Last one. And we'll do another side, the same thing. Extend another leg, protect it from the hip joint out, and you're gonna move it to the side, back towards the center. Keep going. Make sure that this knee is stable. What I mean, make sure you don't move it to the side as you move that other leg away. Good. Keep breathing. And let's do a couple more. Last one. Very good. Okay, we'll do toe taps now. So place your knees in tabletop position, 90 degrees from your hip, 90 from your knees. Knees are hip distance apart. Hands on the floor, palms down. Inhale in T-zone, and as you exhale, you're going to tap. Inhale up. Another side, exhale, tap. Inhale up. So maintain that L shape of your leg. If you feel it still, and if you still feel it in your lower back, then tap closer. If you find it easy, then you can tap away. But make sure your stomach is flat. Very good. Try to relax your shoulders. And if you want a variation to make it more difficult, you're going to come up here and tap. Yeah, we'll do another two. And last one. Very good. Okay, place your feet on the floor, knees on the floor, hands behind your head. Inhale in T-zone, and as you exhale, you're going to curl yourself up. And inhale in down. Exhale, curl up. Inhale in down. So it's good if you can squeeze your uh, knees together, then it will activate the muscles even more. If you're ready, you can place your knees in tabletop position. If you feel it in your lower back, you can open the knees slightly to release your lower back. Okay. Okay, let's do two more. And last one. Very good. For the next one, we're going to do curl up, exhale, just as we did before, and extend the arm on a diagonal. And make sure that the connection between your rib and the hip, that line, will be flat. Inhale, lay down. Exhale, another side. Inhaling down. And again. 
So make sure you don't pull your neck. Feel your stomach is working. And again, look for easy variation. And if you have back pain, place your feet on the floor. Four more. And two. And last one. Very good. Draw the knees towards the chest. Let's curl up and we're going to do single stretch leg. So hand, one hand on the knee, another one on the ankle. The outside hand goes on the ankle. Extend another leg away. Don't move it too close to the floor. And rotate your leg from a hip joint out. Inhale, swap. Exhale, extend. Inhale, swap. Exhale, extend. Very good. Try to relax, uh, so move your shoulder blades down and back. Yeah, you should. Can be relaxed. <laughs> good. And in this exercise, engage your glutes as well. Can you feel it when you move the knee in? You should feel it in your glutes. Good. Okay. Next one is single straight leg. One leg down towards the floor, another one towards the ceiling. You move it twice towards the chest, then you swap, exhale twice. Inhale, swap, exhale twice. So you don't have to put your legs, like hold it behind too far away. You can actually hold behind your thigh and knee whenever you can reach. And if it's too much, you can just move your head back towards the mat and do this up here. If you chose this option, make sure you don't move the foot too close towards the floor. Okay, last one. Very good. And we're going to move into this position. So you're going to curl up, knees are bent, place your hands on the shins. So double leg stretch. So this is a difficult very, um, exercise, so be careful. So inhale, extend your arms and legs, and as you exhale, encircle the arms and place it back on the shins. Inhale, extend arms and legs, and exhale. So if you find too much, I would go to any of the exercises you've done, we were doing before, and just repeat that. Because this can go into your lower back if you're not strong enough. And I don't want your lower back in pain. Let's do two more. Really draw the knees towards the chest. Last one. Very good. Relax. Good. Place your hands underneath of your glutes. We're going to do double leg lowers. As you inhale, you move it back towards, uh, sorry, move it towards the floor. Exhale, come back up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And keep your feet like a froggy feet, I call it. So feet together, toes apart, and like you're standing on the floor. And if you want to make it difficult, you're going to curl up as your legs are up, inhale as you lie down. Exhale, curl up, inhale as you lie down. And two more. And last one. Very good. That was good. Okay, now we're going to uh, lie down on the side and we're going to try and do um, classical Pilates position. So you're going to lie down against the uh, edge, the, the back edge. Squeeze your legs together and move your feet in the corner. If it's too much, it's gonna be you're going to bend the bottom um, knee. Okay, so first one, just the leg lifts. So you're gonna open and close. Open and close. So exhale, open, inhale, close. But here's actually, you know, you can reverse the breathing if you prefer doing vice versa. Don't mind. Okay, squeeze your glutes. So this is for your glutes. Make sure there is a small gap between your waist and the floor. And let's do a couple more. And last one. Okay, the next exercise, I point your toe. You're gonna slide it towards the knee, open, and then flex your foot and move it down. And again, towards the knee, open, flex them down. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Very good. And let's do another five. And when you move the knee, uh, sorry, foot down, so like you're pressing through that heel, yeah? Keep drawing the tummy in. Last one. Circles. So if you find it's gonna be too difficult, remember you can bend that bottom knee. Okay, choose any direction you want. We're gonna, gonna swap. That's four. Five, six, seven, breathe naturally, eight, nine, then ten, and let's reverse it. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Front and back. Flex your foot, move it to the front, point the toe, move it to the back. Inhale to the front, exhale to the back. Inhale to the front, exhale to the back. Remember you can bend the other knee. Inhale to the front, exhale to the back. When you move your leg to the back, just you want to touch the wall your face, like you know your foot is facing, like you want to touch all the walls. Really squeeze your glutes here. Last one. Okay, the next one is going to be uh, leg turned in, and I want you, I want you to move the uh, bend your knee. So you're going to uh, move the top leg to the front, point your toe, move it down, and then lift, down and lift. Okay, and keep naturally, keep breathing naturally. Good. Keep going, keep going, and let's do ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Okay, let's do another side. So, so remember we're going to lie down against the back edge of the mat, glue the legs together and put them in the corner of the mat. Uh, first one is just leg lift. So you're going to open and close. So what you do is I want you to just squeeze your glutes here. Good. Open and close. Keep that small garbage when you waist on the floor. It will actually uh, move your hips kind of in the incorrect position here. Inhale down. Oh, sorry, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, couple more. Last one. Next one, point the toe, slide it towards the knee, open, and then flex down. Inhaling and exhale down. Inhale towards the knee. Exhale down. Okay. Last one. Okay. Next one. Circles. Any way you want, any directions. I mean, three. Remember, we can bend the bottom knee. Four, five, six, one. Eight, nine, and ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, flex your foot front and back. Move to the front, point the toe, move to the back. Front and back. So keep your um, upper body for, uh, still. Just the bottom part is moving. Yeah? And make sure that hand is in front of you. Shoulders away from your ears. And three more. And last one. Good. Move your leg to the front. Point your toe towards the floor. Move it down and up. Down and up. Leg turned in. Keep going. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Okay, so for the next thing, because we still have time, <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to do collapse again, but with variation. So this is for your glutes. So what we're going to do, we're going to inhale and tease on, and as you exhale, you're going to curl it up, up right here. So you hold this position, move your arms above your head, and then you uncurl vertebra by vertebra. When your tailbone on the floor, then you move your arms. And again, exhale, roll up. Inhale, move your arms above your head. Exhale, uncurl. Inhale, move your arms. And roll up again. Inhaling. Exhaling. Make sure your teeth on this tight. One more time. Roll yourself up. Inhale, move your arms. Excellent, curl. Very good. Okay, for the next one, place your foot on the knee, open the knee to the side, and just uh, make sure that you're comfortable with that other foot, because what we're going to do, we're going to lift yourself up. Then move down, but don't touch the floor, and lift yourself up. 
Move down, inhaling. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Very good. Keep going. What else you can do is put your knee in table chair position. So that's a little bit more difficult. And if you want to the most difficult variation, it's leg is straight up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Hey, we actually got it. Up and down. So it's 15 minutes. I'll just do the same thing on the other side. Good. Last one. Good, let's do another side. So put on the knee, open the knee to the side. You can start with the variation you feel like um, you can do. And down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up, squeeze your glute. Inhale down. Up. And down. A straight leg, up to you. Squeeze your glutes. So make sure you don't feel any pain in lower back, okay? So if you do, you, you want to go to the uh, easier variation. Then you're going to get stronger and you can do more difficult. Last one. Good. And let's stretch. Draw the knees towards the chest. Give yourself a big, big hug. Very good. Put on the knee. Open the knee to the side. Place your hand on the top of the knee. Inhaling. And as you exhale, draw the knee close towards the chest. So you press your knee into your foot. And again, inhaling. And exhale, relax. Let's do another side, the same thing. Inhaling, and as you exhale, stretch. And last one, inhaling, and exhale, stretch. Very good. You can stretch a little bit more if you feel like you need to. And that's all for this workout. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please share it with your friends. Like this video, would we'll be very, very happy if you do. And subscribe to our channel and to our newsletter. And I wish you a very, very beautiful day or evening. And I will see you next time. Bye.